Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. I've got a fun one for you. I'm gonna do a walk around of this, <clears throat> excuse me, 389 short hood uh, tandem low bed spec tractor. So I just got it in. It's uh, balmy minus 33 this morning. So I'm gonna put this hand in my pocket and thanks to Free Flight uh, Industries for the toque. Brandon, your toque's not going to waste with me. So, um, so yeah, toques are a good thing today. So anyways, let's take a look at this sucker. So this is a 2022 Peterbilt 389 short hood with the 44 inch sleeper. And uh, I ordered it without a visor. Originally I ordered this truck for a customer and um, it doesn't look like they're able to take it. So it has become available. And this one's a little special. Um, it's a heavy spec. It's got uh, 16,000 pound front end with 385 tires. <clears throat> and uh, it does have the short hood. So the driver's side stack is non-functioning. But this has got the new def tank. Check this out. Check where the filler is. It's up higher on the tank and there's no straps. So being a black truck, I ordered it without straps. It's, oh, excuse me. Um, it's got mounts very much like a, uh, a toolbox. So all the new depth tanks for 2022 will be like that. Um, looks fantastic. And look at how close it is to the tank. The factory actually put it that close. Fantastic. Just awesome. I've got our 44 inch bunk. Um, now here's, here's another little piece of trivia. So you'll notice that I've got the backup light brackets and wiring with no backup lights. Now in Canada, we always put backup lights there, but it's not legal in the U S to put <clears throat> backup lights on your sleeper there. So if I want this truck to be able to be exported to the U S I can't put backup lights on it. Cause if I put backup lights on it from the factory, then it's Canadian registry only. So. But if I bring it like this, then it can be exported. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things right now, it doesn't matter, but you know, in three, four, five, six years time, someone's really gonna appreciate that it has dual registry so it can go across the border into the US with no problems at all. So, um, so yeah, that's why I don't have backup lights on it. And you know what? I feel bad for you guys in the US that uh, aren't allowed to have backup lights. That's kind of a goofy rule. Um, now on this one as well, I've got the dual air connections. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I also got a little extra space there for a cab guard. <clears throat> now you'll notice this has the 52,000 pound new way suspension in wide track. I've got, uh, the, uh, Durabrite wheels on it, which is fantastic because they stay shiny. Now they don't, they don't stand up as well as I would like in a forestry bush application, but but they'll stay they'll stay bright and uh, for a while, and then you can sand the finish off. So now this one, being that it's got the the heavy new A suspension, it was ordered as a low bed tractor, so I brought it in with square tail frame for two reasons. One, we're gonna cut this and add low bed ramps. And the other one is I can uh, avoid getting your ATC automated traction control by having this as a truck. And I probably shouldn't publicly say it because the factory might change it and rumor is they're gonna change it. But uh, yeah, my customers don't want that. Certainly not in a, in a bush low bed application. So. Um, so yeah, no traction control on this bad boy. It's got ABS, but no traction control. So. 120, 120 gallon tank on the driver's side. Um, this one does have Meritor rear diffs. Actually, I should double check that. I think it's Meritor 46,000 pound diffs with, um, yeah, look at that. It is Meritor. It's got the collar. And if you watch my other video, you know how to tell the difference between a Meritor and an Eaton diff. So yeah, 430 ratio, 46,000 pound Meritor diffs. We've got the 52,000 pound new way suspension. Um, this truck is a beast and I absolutely love building these for my customer. We've got uh, Bridgestone steer tires on it. 
Um, now these are the new Bridgestones with the closed shoulder. Um, haven't had a lot of reviews on them yet. Um, I know some customers have actually um, got their tires siped and actually cut this sidewall out um, just to get improved water ejection. Um, the reason they went to this was actually for improved fuel economy. And uh, I believe that's why they have the cold, <laughs> cold shoulder. No, that's what my wife gave me last night was the cold shoulder, but uh, that's the closed shoulder. So um, yeah, we've got the OEM Aeropods. Now, did you guys notice that in the reveal, sorry to wipe my nose on my hand here, I'll sanitize later. Um, but in the new 5, 579 reveal, they've got LED headlights. So fingers crossed that maybe this summer we'll have LED headlights in the, in the Aeropods. So one can dream, right? One can dream. Let's open the hood on this bad boy. Good gravy. It's a little chilly. It's a little chilly today. Woo. My nose is running and uh, my fingers are cold, but you know what? That's, that's what minus 30 does to a guy. So I'm gonna use my gloved hand to open this. Look at that. Now the shop did wash this. The truck only just came in like an hour ago. So yeah, the spray off job is kind of subpar. But here is the 2022 X15. Now, quite a few differences on this that I'm seeing out of the gate. It doesn't have the, um, the transfer pipe down there for your fresh air intake, for your compressor. It's over there. And I'm just going to change hands again because it's a cold. It's a cold. Um, yeah, so anyways, that looks great. Of course, I got my Davco. We've got our remote lube point. We've got our jump jump terminals. Here's your air fill up. And I don't know why these always end up off, but that should be on. Um, 16,000 pound taper leaf springs. We've got the big beam in this one. Our anti blowdown latch, which is frozen because like I say, it's minus 30. Actually, it's probably warmed up to minus 25 now, but we did just spray this thing off. So um, the quicker we could get that road salt off, the better it is for our customers. I will be getting it detailed, but uh, but I still just, you know, you got to get it. You got to get it off as quick as you can. So take a look at the other side and look at this paint. I don't know if, if you can see it in the sun, but this is what we call, maybe I'll go over here. This is black, black diamond. A little bit of soap on there, but the black diamond, I tell you, when the sun hits it, the metallic just pops. It's not quite as poppy as the um, the uh, legendary colors because the legendary colors have the glass, uh, the crushed glass in them, and that's an expensive option. I actually have a, a truck I need to order today, 389 long hood, flat top, 72 inch flat top, seminal paint design with legendary black and legendary gray. Oh, I can't wait till this one comes in. It's probably going to be in uh, in June the way things are going, but. Um, but yeah, it's going to be wicked. So I can't wait to show you guys that one. So here is the passenger side of the engine. You can see we have dual steering boxes. Um, nothing too much crazy here. Um, this is your, your. Um, oh gosh, what the heck is the word I'm looking for? It's for your air filter restriction. Now I've started ordering them with the air filter restriction gauge on the dash, just because I don't care for this one. Because the one thing that I worry about that is that's easy to knock off. A guy could be, you know, washing your windows. You accidentally bump that. And if you don't notice it, you'll dust your engine. So, you know, and I don't know of anyone that's actually done that and dusted their engine. Um, and I know people have taken them off and plugged them when, you know, they've been faulty. But I just think if you can have the gauge on the dash and you can eliminate that risk, I would like to eliminate that risk. And now if you look at the hood, on a 389, look at how similar it is to the 367 high hood. You've got your grill huck bolted in. Now this is an aluminum hood. This is the only truck in the industry that has an aluminum hood. And look at where those headlights mount, right to the hood hinge. You know, people often say, is a 389 tough enough for a heavy duty application? And I say, hell yeah, absolutely. You know, if any of you have been to, like Oregon, um, Oregon, the Western US, you got 
you know, Washington State, Oregon State, well, and actually probably a lot of states, so I'm just talking about the ones where I've really noticed it. Northern California, they've got 379s, 359s that are still trucking today. And the beauty of this aluminum hood, like with those headlight pods mounted to the hinge like that, they could not be any tougher. So you don't have any extra weight hanging on your fender. And the only downside to aluminum is it doesn't flex and bend like um, like a fiberglass or a metal hood does. So if you hit it, it could crack and break. But the beauty is, if you wreck a fender, you can change a fender in like literally a couple hours. So see your fender is huck bolted on. You've got your, your gussets on each end. And yeah, like our body shop, literally, you know what? You hit a moose, you hit a deer, you blow a tire, you rip a fender off. As long as the side of your hood is good, you come in a couple hours later, new fenders on and if they knew you're coming they can paint it ahead of time and yeah Bob's your uncle and you're on your way so absolutely fantastic no one else in the industry has an aluminum hood and look at how easy this hood opens and closes now the set forward 5 series is a little bit harder to open this is a 389 short hood and I'm not even trying hard and I mean I know you guys probably think I'm a pretty buff guy and I work out a lot but I really don't I'm kind of lazy that way um, I should work out, but I don't because let's face it you sell trucks all day and anyways That's a story for another day. So <laughs> So let's check out the inside and I will take my glove off so that uh, I Can hold the hold 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 that thing better. So anyways, let's check out the inside So this is the platinum interior. It's got keyless entry from factory it's got our traditional gauge dash. Now, something that I will be doing in this truck is I will be moving the seat back because a flat top from the factory, the seat is too close for me. The beauty is we can move that back, no issue at all. So that will be getting done. I'm gonna fire this up and uh, turn on some light. Maybe I'll turn the fan down. Set our cruise control up. Turn on my light because the sun is making things a little bit challenging. There we go. Now we got light. So cruise control set. It's interesting that this has the CD player as well. So with the smart nav, it, you still get um, the CD player. Where when you get the regular radio, you no longer get the CD. Um, we've got our PTO switch. Um, because as a low bed tractor, you could be putting a wet kit on it to power your low bed. Um, of course, we've got our air suspension dump, fifth wheel slide switch, uh, which doesn't have a fifth wheel on it yet. Inner axle, forward diff, center diff lock. Um, here we've got our fuel left and right. Backup light switch, hot wire wired to the end of the tail frame for say backup lights, loading lights, um, etc. Beacon lights, because this one does have beacons on it and they are LED from the factory now spare switch another spare switch auxiliary lights because you know what it's a peterbilt and you can't have a peterbilt without chicken lights and chrome so we're gonna put some chicken lights on this bad boy um, rear bunk light so I'll turn that on and then this is for your rear AC in the bunk or in this case it's your rear heat because another heater when it's minus 33 is a really good option to have so interestingly enough this one actually went to the island first so it has 5,139 kilometers. It was driven. Um, now this is all gonna change for uh, mid-year 2022. We're no longer gonna have these gauges. It's gonna be a square pod. And you know, the one good thing is like when I sit here, back here, and you have the steering wheel, you can't really see your, your signal lights there. So if they've got your, your turn signal indicators in the new digital dash, I think that's really going to be a win because let me put that on. Can you see it? No, nope, can't see it. If I go like that. Oh yeah, I can see it. So, so that is one negative to the old dash, but I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of going to miss the old dash just because, um, you know, you got the analog gauges and I, I mean, really they're all electronic gauges anyway. So there's really nothing a person's going to lose out on. Um, you know, I mean, I guess you could have issues with your digital dash, but you could have issues with these digital gauges because they're all just plugged in. It's not like they're uh, fly-by 
fly-by-wire, I mean fly-by-cable or whatever anymore. So, so yeah, it's just a little different. Electro over air, electro, el oh my gosh, let me try this again. Electric over air switches is my biggest concern, um, but Peterbilt has improved the whole wiring systems of the entire trucks. Uh, we've actually got new uh, chassis wiring, so you can buy chassis wiring on its own. I'm gonna wipe my nose again. I'm gonna have to wash my hands when I get in and sanitize, so sorry about that. But it's, <laughs> it's cold. And um, anyways, so yeah, we got chassis wiring, we got digital gauges, you know what, the future's coming. We're embracing it with both hands and it's gonna be freaking epic because you know what the best part about it is? We still have that view. That view with rivets in the hood, an aluminum hood, and at the end of the hood, we've got the bird. So that's what it's all about. We've got our power door locks, our power windows, power mirrors. Those are the traditional mirrors that I love so much. We look inside got leather seats I've got the cup holder floor mounted with thermos holder in the bunk I got the box of goodies that came with it so my flares and stuff like that will be in there and a rear window because as a low bed tractor you might want to see what's behind you so there's the, the bunk controls and interestingly enough it's set to uh, to air conditioning so yeah we're gonna change that right now well you know when I turn the camera off so um, under the bunk here is how much storage is under the bunk with everything painted black it's kind of hard to see but but um, yeah quite a bit of room and when you look at the seat look at how much room we have behind the seat we've actually got quite a bit of room so we will be moving or I will be having moved the seat back because it's okay right now but if I move the seat back like another three inches It'll be epic. Yeah, so anyways, that's it. We've also got the leather wrap wheel in this one. So no smart wheel, but uh, that's okay too. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please smash the like button. The guys that are out there on the road doing it every day, busting your balls, putting in long hours so that we can go to Walmart or Costco or, I had a hair on my nose, or wherever and pick up our stuff. So, you know what? I appreciate everything you guys do. And once again, drive safe, take care, and as always, peace. Cheers, later. Mike C, signing out. Thanks.